Varicose veins are really the most common vascular disorder. Everybody has some variant of this or has someone in their family that has either spider veins or bulging varicose veins. And there's been a lot of new treatments in the past few years that are quite exciting to deal with these in, in a much less invasive way. The most common cause is heredity. It tends to run in families, certain occupations, people that are on their feet a lot, such as doctors, nurses, teachers, people that work in factories, uh, have a tendency to develop varicose veins because their feet are, and legs are always down, and so gravity takes a toll over the years on the veins in their leg. And the most common symptom is itching. Also, achiness, tiredness, heaviness, numbness, tingling, stinging, burning, a variety of different symptoms, but it tends to get worse throughout the day the more people are up on their legs or sitting all day. There are ways to prevent or slow down the formation of varicose veins. One is if you're in one of those occupations where you have to stand a lot or sit a lot, you could wear some support hose. This compression hose help compress the veins and prevent blood from pooling in the leg. They come in a wide variety of colors and styles. The problem with that on a long-term basis is a lot of patients just don't want to do that all day every day, especially when it is very hot out in the summer and they want to wear shorts. And so those patients, after trying some of the elevation and compression therapy, then they come to see us for a more comprehensive treatment for their varicose veins. Some people come to us for cosmetic reasons, usually for spider veins. They may not be causing any symptoms or minimal symptoms, but people don't like the way they look and they want to get rid of them. So they come in seeking treatment and those are very easily treated with an office-based procedure called sclerotherapy. That's a procedure where we actually take a very small syringe and a tiny little needle and inject a certain amount of FDA approved medicine into the vein. That medicine makes the inner wall of the vein sticky and then the vein wall will collapse and the body will absorb the vein over time, usually about four weeks. Treatment times average between 30 and 45 minutes. The, the actual level of pain is pretty minimal. Uh, most patients describe some more itching about five minutes after the injection but the medicine itself has a numbing effect when it's injected, so there's usually not a lot of pain associated with the procedure. Most people tell us it was a lot better than they thought it was gonna be. The veins that are removed will not recur, but the body tends to form new veins over time. So, especially with spider veins, we tell patients that generally one treatment isn't going to take care of this for life. You have to uh, come in for maintenance therapy every year to two years to treat the new veins that may form and those are the patients that are going to get the best result. After spider veins patients can develop larger bulging varicose veins which actually protrude above the surface of the skin. Generally if that gets bad enough with symptoms we can usually help those patients out with a variety of minimally invasive procedures. Our newer way that we're treating that is with a catheter ablation procedure with an endovenous catheter, which is a small catheter that's inserted under ultrasound guidance inside of the vein. And then that catheter is guided all the way up through the vein and we numb up with some injections in the office around the vein and then treat that vein with the radio frequency catheter, which essentially heats up and cauterizes the inside of that vein and causes the vein to collapse and then the body absorbs it over time. So essentially it accomplishes the same thing as a vein stripping operation, but patients do not have to have surgery, they don't have to be admitted to the hospital. It's done in the office in an outpatient setting with some local sedation, just some medicine to relax, but not a general anesthetic. So patients can walk immediately after the procedure. We also have minimally invasive procedure called a microflebectomy. That is a procedure where we make tiny little incisions for the surface veins to remove those with a special tool. These incisions are about a millimeter to two millimeters long, so generally smaller than the size of a pencil. Um, and those heal very well with an excellent cosmetic result and usually within a few weeks the incisions are not even visible. Patients that have varicose veins that develop symptoms over time, if it's not treated, can develop skin changes, 
darkening the skin around the ankle, typically in a gaiter distribution, so the foot and lower leg like a boot distribution. That skin gets dark brown and leathery, and then over time that skin can break down and form ulcers where, the, where a large red open sore develops, and those can be very difficult to heal. And that's why we recommend treating um, symptomatic varicose veins that are causing problems to prevent them from getting into those late stages where they're very difficult to treat.